Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really good week. I had a great week myself. Craig and I have been working in our yard a ton for the last few weeks. I actually did not take a wedding for um, the last weekend in July and then the first weekend of August just because I thought it might be kind of nice to like plug a little break in there. Um, I'm back full force starting <laughs> next weekend so uh, my break is coming to a close. But um, yeah, so uh, in that time we have just been doing a ton of stuff that has needed to get done. We built this really nice new fence around our jacuzzi or like pool components. Um, we have been taking out more trees and shrubs that are just overgrown and just like have seen better days, basically. Um, we have replaced the, uh, their, uh, so our back deck, the pillars and like the really nice tongue and groove on the ceiling back there is made out of mahogany. Um, unfortunately the mahogany on like the lower part of the pillars that like frames it out just was like totally distorted looking. So we removed all that and actually replaced it with uh, a different kind of wood called Ipe. Um, which is like, I think one of the hardest woods that there is. So we don't anticipate having any more problems with that, which is nice. <laughs> it's like little detail-y things that when Craig and I look at them, like they drive us nuts. But people that like just come to our house just to like visit, they're like, this place is beautiful. What is there to do? And we're like, a million things. <laughs> Next big project is lighting outside. Um, Craig's redoing all the landscape lighting and that's gonna look really nice. And I'm really excited to get the yard spruced up just in time for it to start raining. <laughs> but it'll be great next year, right? Anyway, I have beauty things to share with you guys this week that I'm crazy excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. I will link everything down below for you in the description box if you're curious about where to buy these things, all that kind of stuff. The information will be down there. All right, I'm gonna start with hair. So I have been trying these products this week and I actually think that my stylist, I never totally pay attention when she's doing my hair after she cuts it, but she uses a quad product. And so I picked these two products up because I think she has used these in my hair in the past. The Aquage Volumizing Treatment, which is a mousse, but it's a mousse that has like this kind of pump. Um, I don't prefer this, this pump, but this works really well. Um, these all smell like beachy, ocean salty air. Um, I kind of like that. I don't love it, but I do like it. And it just reminds me of getting a fresh haircut, which is always kind of fun to go get yourself pampered like that. So that has been really great. Just adding extra body and volume into my hair. And then I've also been pairing it with the Aquage Volumizing Mist. This is the C Extend Ultimate Care with Thermal V volumizing mist creates fullness texture and definition so I just use both of these things on my hair when they're wet I do use my Purology um, leave-in treatment to like protect from like the blow dryer and stuff and then I just blow dry my hair and I'm left with really nice voluminous hair that isn't crunchy or stiff or dry in any kind of way if you have fine hair here's your new winning combo at least for me anyway um, I never ever talk about the body SPF that I use <laughs> and I figured I might mention it. Um, this is, I actually have Stella's name on the back here, so I'm going to try not to show that. Um, this is the body SPF that I use on myself and on Stella every single day. This is from Paula's Choice. This is the Sun Care, uh, Extra Care Non-Greasy Sunscreen. They have since repackaged this. This one is left over from last year, so we're just finishing this one up. Um, I do have a backup from last year as well that I didn't get to. Now these did expire, I wanna say it was like yeah, September from 2018, so it's probably not best to use expired sunscreen, but it's expired less than a year. So I'm still gonna use it up because I'm not gonna waste it. Um, but do be careful about how much sunscreen you buy. Just kind of buy as you go. I feel like that's a better 
way to go probably so that they don't expire but I'm still pro I'm still finding that I'm getting great protection from this this is fantastic it's an SPF of 50 I can actually use this on Stella's face as well I don't use it on my face but I do with her because she is out in the sun a lot she's at summer camp every single day this one's really great it is water resistant up to 80 minutes it does have a really nice kind of matte finish to it so it's not like shiny or greasy or anything like that and it seems to um I don't want to say absorb but it dries down really nicely um, very quickly like you're not left feeling sticky or gross at all so anyway this is a winner for me for sure in the body department all right perfume I love the Comptoir Sud Pacifique fragrances and this week uh, both Stella and I actually she's starting to ask me to use some of my perfume and I'm more than okay sharing it with her um, I just like want to make sure that I apply it because she tends to just douse herself I'm like, I can't take you to camp <laughs> smelling like that. <laughs> so, um, but we have both been loving the uh, Vanilla Extreme. If you want to smell like delicious vanilla cake batter, here you go. Um, some people don't like smelling like gourmand scents. I love it. <laughs> so this one is amazing if you've never smelled this. Unfortunately, I don't think Comptoir Sud Pacifique is sold. I'm um, sorry, I have an itch. Uh, is sold in store at most Sephora's. I have to order mine online, so I kind of bought this blindly, but I love it. I do think they have a smaller like spray size of this. I'll link that down below. It's kind of a good way to start with these. The next time that I buy this, I'm gonna buy the big Mama Jama. Like they have like a 3.7 ounce or something like that. It's huge. I'm just gonna go for that because I, I love this stuff, you guys. It smells so good. Legit, it smells like vanilla cake batter. It is delightful. All right, um, I have some skincare products next. So I'm gonna start with the Eminence Wild Plum Eye Cream. I took this out for the month of August. Um, yesterday, I will have uploaded my, uh, what is it called? Um, you guys will have seen actually the August skincare routine. So um, this was featured in that. Uh, this is such a great eye cream, you guys. It's kind of spendy. It's from Eminence, so it's going to be spendy, but it's really nice. I love to use this in the morning. It helps decrease any puffiness that I might be dealing with. It doesn't help with discoloration or anything like that, but it decreases the puffiness and it adds just a really nice surge of moisture. This is a fantastic eye cream. I don't ever hear anyone talking about this one. It's so good, you guys. Um, I am currently using and really enjoying so far the Mamond Vital Skin Essence. Um, this is a Octoly find for me. So if you are new to my channel, I do utilize Octoly. So I did apply to Mamond to be able to review this product. They sent it out for free and um, I just share it on my channel and I'm, I am allowed to give my honest thoughts on it. So honestly, so far, I really like it. I don't think that I've noticed anything drastic from it. Um, this is supposed to be a vitamin essence for the skin that provides moisture and vitality through a burst of vitamin capsules. So um, yeah, uh, so far I'm just really enjoying this on my face every single morning. I can show you the texture here. It's pretty um, watery, so it absorbs very quickly into the skin. And one thing that I do notice from this is it is a really nice, surge of moisture for sure it has a super super light scent to it like I mean barely noticeable um, I really like the packaging it's not glass which is nice but it's like this acrylic so it, I, it feels a little bit more secure on my countertop I'm not as worried about like dropping it and breaking things um, so far so good I'm really excited to test this out some more and I will be giving you guys a more substantial review on it after I've used it about four to five weeks. Um, so you'll see this again. Um, it's summer. I really enjoy exfoliating a little bit more during the summer because the amount of SPF that I use tends to clog things in this general area here. So um, I have very congestion prone skin and I do a lot of chemical exfoliants, but every once in a while I do enjoy a good physical or manual exfoliant. And I love this one from Derma E. This is the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. You can see I have a healthy dip in there. I actually keep this one in the shower. And I've been using this on my face as well as my neck and my decollete. And I just very gently exfoliate these areas. It just leaves my skin feeling very fresh, very smooth. Um, 
there's like no real like other benefits to me other than I am left with just really smooth like a smooth canvas and when I apply my makeup um, right after it just glides on like it just my skin looks very pretty so I used it this morning and I just feel like I have this glow to my skin and that's because all of the like flakies and you know whatnot that the chemical exfoliants are working on <laughs> have been brushed away so like that a lot let's do makeup um nothing earth shattering but a lot of people have been asking me what i've been wearing on my eyes and it, this is so basic you guys um it's the Too faced natural matte eyeshadow palette um i obviously still have this old packaging here they have since repackaged it but this is a great palette you guys i don't have a whole lot from Too faced anymore i don't really care for the company as much as i used to um but this is the one palette that i have left from them and it's amazing um I just I love all these colors I will use all of them the darker ones in my crease and then the lighter ones just all over or on the lid it's just good stuff this is a great basic palette if you're traveling this would be the one that I would tell you to take with you because you just can't go wrong with it and you can smoke your eyes up a little bit for nighttime or you can do a really neutral day look like if you're on vacation um, this is this is a good one you guys I'm going to Vegas in September, so I think I might actually take this one with me. My best friend is ha having her bachelorette party there, so um, I feel like that's going to be a great one to travel with. All right, uh, let's do lipstick. Okay, so this week I've really only been wearing this. This is from Grande Lips. Um, this is the Grande Lipstick in Eau Naturale. This is what I have on my lips right now. Now you can see that there's like this white, white, um, line like this core to the lipstick i believe that that's like their plumper i don't get much plumping from this but i do get a lot of hydration and this is really pretty neutral nude that i just love this has been i just slap this on and then periodically throughout the day as i'm working i come up here and i'll put it back on because it's also a really great moisturizing like balm for the lips as well this is just really nice um i will have a mascara monday for you of the grande lash primer and mascara where's the primer i got this little set from octoly so i will have this for you guys on monday actually so look forward to that on monday um but yeah i haven't tried a ton of stuff from grande lash but so far everything i've tried pretty good i will say their lash serum did leave just a little bit of irritation all along the lash the lash line the last time that i used it but that was a couple years ago. I might actually be tempted to try it again because I do remember getting a lot of length from that. So maybe I'll try it again. Um, and then, okay, I'm trying something different from Kevin Aquan. Um, this is the sculpting powder in the shade Light. So I have been using that this week. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I feel like this is a much less dramatic contour powder um i so this one here by the way came from octoly it came with another product that i'll be sharing with you guys soon um probably next week i'm still testing it out but uh the the normal one that i buy is the sculpting powder in medium you can see i've hit some serious pan on this so i bought this one myself last um fall at the sephora vib sale i have loved this powder clearly I've used it to death um, but I was curious about the light now you can see the difference there both are like slightly ashy um, I think I actually like both I could go either way definitely more dramatic contour from the medium but this light has been great for like just everyday supernatural I like to contour my face because I have a very round large gourd um, I have my entire life and I just I I need some angles on my face <laughs> so I draw them on with makeup anyway I now have another great option in the light so I'll definitely be using the heck out of that um, but I I will most certainly repurchase the medium as soon as I'm done with this because it's so good you guys if you've never used these sculpting powders from Kevin Aquan don't be scared off by the size because oh my gosh I've used this every single day now for months and I'm still not done with it like every single day for months this is good stuff um and then my blush this week has still been these two um the trip for two in daiquiri and tulum and bellini and costa Rai. these are new from wander beauty they um 
I'll link them down below. These are really great, you guys. Um, again, wonderful for travel because you're getting a bronzer and a blush. So they do have a really nice mirror as well. But yeah, both of these. I've actually, for today, I kind of mixed these two blushes together to get what I have here. It's just really neutral, very natural, but like just a nice pop of color. I really love peach during the summer, but I also love pinks and like a nice peachy pink is actually perfect. It's kind of the best of both worlds, right? So anyway, that's what I've been loving this week for blush still. So nothing new there. I actually think I showed those last week. So that's everything for you guys. Uh, I hope you have a really great weekend. I'm going to enjoy my weekend uh, taking a trip to a local nursery, picking out some trees and whatnot. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So <laughs> I'll be outside in the heat. Uh, hopefully you're doing something more relaxing. <laughs> Have a great weekend, whatever it is that you're doing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.